Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I welcome you to another interesting episode of Ask the Muslims. I am Dr. Hakim and I am on the streets of Lagos and every other place you can find me. And we are doing just one thing, asking the Muslims simple, interesting questions. I'll advise you to stay tuned. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What's your name, please? My name is Tijani Ali Motabimbola. My name is Hafsa Arun. My name is Mariam Bakar. My name is Ali Abdukudus. We just signed our motor. Abdullahi Abdurraza Kabiola. I'm signed on Johnny Day by name. Bakar Abdurrahman. I'm Latifa Suleiman. Odum Ton Latifa Uluwatosi. My name is Lami Yabolaji. Ibrahim Alabi. Alabi. Welcome to Axi Muslims. Are you shy? No. Why shall I shy? Why shall I shy? Exactly. Exactly. I'll be asking you some very simple questions. Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm um, pretty ready. You are pretty ready. You are beautifully ready. Yes, I'm ready for okay. the questions. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. <sighs> are you ready? Yes. Yes. No. No. Okay. Yes, I am ready. Yes, I am. <laughs> are you ready? Okay. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? No. Ah, you want to do that? You are ready, better. You continue like that. <laughs> like that, only. So the first question. No. Which surah is called the heart of the Quran? The heart of Quran in the in the Quran we have only just one, one. one. It's just one. It's surah to Yasin. Surah to Yasin. Yasin. Are you sure? From the verse, Okay. Which surah is called the heart of the Quran? Surah to Yasin. Let me learn the question. Finish now, eh? First class. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. And I mean, are you very sure? Yes. Yes. Sura to Yasu. Eh? Sura to Yasu. The heart of the Quran. Yes. You're sure? Of course. Surah to Yasin. Yes. The surah that's read as out of Quran is Surah to Yasin. Okay, the heart of the Quran, that's uh, Surah to Fatiha. Surah to? Fatiha. Surah to Fatiha. Hmm, are you sure? Surah to Fatiha. Final answer. Yes, Surah to Fatiha. Hmm. Are you sure? I am not sure. I'm not really sure. Uh, so be sure. What's the final answer? That's what I just guessed. Such a fat answer. Final answer. Final answer. Hmm. Such a Ah, are you sure? No. Very sure. Not really sure. I know. You have to be very sure. Final answer. Yep. Such a fat Okay. Such a fat Yes. The heart of the Quran. Yes. Ah. <laughs> You're sure. 
Swa to fat ya. Swa to fat ya. Did I say anything? No. Are you sure? You only sign. Are you sure? Yes. Am I? You ask yourself if you are sure. The heart of the Quran, what's the answer? Surah to Fatiha. Surah to I mean the heart of the Quran. Yes, Surah to Yasin. Yes, that is the answer. Yes, Quran chapter 36. Ah, it's a big number. Yes, sir. You're very sure? I'm very sure. 100% sure. 100% sure. Yes, I yes, like sir. that. I like yes, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Alarikwe Ruan Balogun and I am on the Big IQ show. In fact, I can spell your name backwards. E-P-A-R-E-L-A-O-N-A-W-L-I-H-A-R What's the last name of your name? La ilaha illa la Muhammad Can you say Subhan or Bia Bini Yes. What does Mashallah mean? I think, Mi Allah's guidance is your how do you say this word in Arabic? Thank you. Does that come like Aaron? Sorry. Spell that word. D U H D A T. What's your favorite surah? Surah to the Fatia. Why? Because it's the beginning. What does the Nilayat and Pokemon mean? The night, the only night of Ramadan. Do you have any secret talent? I think I can sleep. So how are you doing my name? What does the word Dajja mean? I have no idea. In five seconds, um, you be able to read this word. Okay, Zaka. Zaka, that's like giving. Hajj. Pilgrimage. Salah. Prayer. Can you eat pork and fries? Nope. Spell Mashallah Ba. Masha'Allah, that's H-A-L-L-A, that's Allah, then Masha, that's E, oh my God, A-H-S-R-E-M. What's your favorite word? My favorite word? I guess that should be my name. Alaragui, yes, Alaragui. You want to stand it more for you, Paul? Waram. <laughs> you called me the same one. Okay, the Islamic calendar is based on lunar or solar cycle. Solar cycle. What is said to announce the time of prayer? Ikomo mm. or Idan? According to the Quran, Muslims should worship Allah and and pray. <laughs> no pain, no gain. Eat me up in the afternoon. Mary had a little lamb. My Aunt Moses I saw after going to the gym. Let's make this an internet. <laughs> Sorry. I have an awful. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Alarikwe Balugu Rewan, and this is the Big IQ Show. Keep watching our TV Africa.
Dear Ramadan, as we all know, Ramadan has been a very special month for all the Muslims around the world. Well, my own Ramadan, I think it's the most special because I get to spend with family and friends and loved ones. You know, Ramadan gets you connected with people that are very dearly to you and the people you don't get to meet often all the time. I'm always at home with parents and with loved ones and everybody. Hey, is the thing for you. How do you spend your own Ramadan? Because mine is special than yours. My name is Abdul Kudus Onayemi. My name is Hali Zainab. My name is Sophia. My name is Amida Adeyemi. I am Nasima Suleiman Shuwala. I'm Olani Babashira. Have you ever achieved Kutu in Solar? Yes, during Tahajud. No, not perfectly. No. <laughs> oh yes, I have. And, um, I don't achieve it all the time because sometimes these thoughts keep getting into your head. And I try as much as possible to achieve it as much as I can. And I pray to Allah to help me with it because it is a very beautiful feeling when you can place your head on the fo on uh, your forehead on the ground and all you can think about is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all you can think about is that act of worship that you're doing and nothing else matters in that moment. Nothing. Yeah. So uh, right from the moment when you're standing, yeah, you can actually um, concentrate and focus and it goes a long way in improving the quality of your solar yeah it oh, was quite um well overwhelming and um i felt peace in my heart um i feel i'm um, just always maybe in it or it's a finish that's why i'm not concentrating uh, how one can concentrate during salah is about one way assuming that is your last opportunity you know sometimes when we stand for salah sometimes we may hear imam saying that observe salah as if you are observing your farewell salah that you may not have another opportunity but that is the last one then you will give in your best but if you feel okay oh you are still going to have another opportunity it makes you to relax and then it makes you to play and uh, if you play in your salah, you know, that affects your salah. So as a Muslim, if you want to, you know, uh, to concentrate on your salah, you have to be more focused on Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Think about Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Think about the benefits or the gains you are going to get from your salah. And then from, you know, submission to Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. And also take life easy. You know, everyone have you know, one challenge or the other. So do not allow those challenges to distract you so much from, you know, your Lord. Or maybe struggling for worldly things. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is saying to us in the verse of the Quran, that, Ya ayyuhal insan, O you mankind, ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. What is that that is distracting you from your Lord, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, the generous? So basically, there shouldn't be anything to distract us from Allah subhanahu Ta'ala. And one of the first things Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is going to judge us with on the day of resurrection is salah. If your salah is okay, then other things are likely going to be okay. But if your salah is not okay, then other things may be affected. So may Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala make us conscious of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala and also conscious of our ibadah whenever we come to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. 
I'm Jamila and welcome to Jamila's Diary. I pray today's episode is beneficial to you all. Remember, in the month of Ramadan, we have to stay strong, healthy and spiritual. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. So today I'll be making kunensaimia dokose. Kunensaimia is just a pap made from millet, spices, and tamarind. And kose is a regular akara. So <laughs> let's get to it. So this is um, ground millet, and it's been ground with spices, my cloves, cayenne kamshi, um, chili pepper, so on. And this is my tamarind, and we're going to soak this up for the tamarind. We'll extract the liquid from it. So for my kose, I'll be need, uh, need some beans. It's been washed already, and some scotch bonnet pepper, tatase, your red bell peppers, um, some onion, uh, have ginger and garlic, and some Maggi cubes, vegetable oil for frying. So I'm going to blend my beans now for kose. So I'll have it all. Scotch bunny peppers, my tatase, and a little bit of my ginger and garlic, some water. So you don't want to make this too light. You want the consistency of your kose to be a bit thick, not like alili. Uh, okay. okay. So I'm blending my beans to make kose, and I want the paste to be thick, not too thick, but not too thin either. So I don't want it to be like alili or uh, moi moi, just thick enough to so it can hold itself when we're deep frying. So so this is my kose paste. So I'm beating it, and the secret to fluffy, delicious kose is is in the beating. You want to incorporate the paste so I'm going to go ahead and beat it. So my oil is getting hot already and I'm going to add the style of the day, of course Maggie. So okay. So I'm going to crumble this in and beat it really nicely. Maggie is a perfect seasoning for my kose and it's rich in iron which helps prevent anemia. So, yeah, we've got this incorporated in and I'm just going to scoop it in my hot oil and we'll fry it. Okay, so I'm scooping in some of my kose. My oil is hot already. Now, it depends on what, what size you want. So I like them quite small because they're crunchier that way. Yes. Yeah, so. I had a fun time hanging out with street, um, street vendors of Kose. It's just amazing how you always see a queue of people every morning. It's like you never get enough of Kose. So usually it's eaten with yaji. So you can have yours with yaji if you want. Yaji just makes everything better, isn't it? <laughs> it's time for me to make my kunensaimia and this is my ground millet with spices. Um, millet has a lot of nutrients. It's rich in protein, fiber, B vitamins. It's good for your heart and it can help control blood sugar. Um, this is my juice from the tamarind. Which was extracted from my tamarind, which I soaked in water. And tamarind is a great source of vitamin C. It can help lower cholesterol. 
um, can boost your immune system. It's really great and it's packed with uh, vitamins. So I'm just going to mix this to a, a thick consistency. We don't want it too light. Um, you don't want it too thick either, just medium. So. So, um, so next I'm going to add my hot water. Okay, so my water is boiling. Adding the water and stirring at the same time. Jamila's Diary. I'm Jamila. Remember to follow us on our social media pages at Maggie underscore Nigerian Instagram at Maggie Nigerian Facebook. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum, I'm Jamila. This Ramadan, you can catch up with me on Jamila's Diary, brought to you by Maggie on Habibi Ramadan. I'll be bringing you amazing recipes from the north, as well as sharing healthy ways of how to cook them with my friends and family. What more can you ask for with my healthy recipes? I'm excited and I'm sure you are too. Don't forget Ramadan is all about sharing goodness. Lay